Inside this tutorial we will see how to create this kind of animation between two pictures. Here it depends screenshot where we play on the spectrum between 0 to 100% so you can see the light color changing. So for that we will open GIMP, go to File, Import, Open as Layers. Here I have my two pictures that I want to import, the one with 0% of spectrum and the other one with 100%. So OK, I will open it. Here I have now my two pictures loaded. So my first one is 0% of spectrum, the second one is 100%. As I want more time for this one, I will duplicate it, duplicate layer. So I have two times this one and one time this is the first one. So I need to have three pictures, three layers to make animation. From here I will go to Filters, Animation, Blend. I will set a value of intermediate frame of 10, so it will compute 10 pictures between the both, and I want something looped. OK, let's do. It's finished, so I have all my frame. If I want to take a look at what it looked like, I can go to Filters, Animation, and Playback. Here I have my playback loaded, so I've put it to 25 FPS to have something quicker to, to look at, and then play. So here we can see that we have the animation we were looking for, something quite smooth, and that's OK. So now we are ready to go. Before to export that, we want to optimize it a bit to avoid to consume too much place on the hard drive. So filter animation again, and then this one, optimize difference. It will compute new picture for each of them and it will remove color which are not needed because they are exactly the same between the both, between two frame. Now it's done, we can check that everything is still working properly uh, with the playback integrating to GIMP and you can see that there is less information available but the result is exactly the same. So we optimize the space used for the animation. Then we are ready now to export. So from file, export as. And here I will export it uh, into my folder I used before. So which is located there. And I will overwrite the animation I've already done. That's not a big deal. So it's an extension of WebP. Export. So I have to overwrite mine. And here, I want to export not in lossless quality to avoid to have too big file, but 95 is really correct. Alpha quality, we will let at 100%. We will check the as animation. We want a loop. We want to minimize the output, so to compress the file. We will set 10 milliseconds. It will be enough for the animation. And then we don't want the extra information. Click on export and wait for the exportation done. The export is now done, so I can open the file. So this is the same URL as before. You have to use the navigator for that to, to let play it. So we'll refresh it to see if it's still the same animation. So yeah, that's good. We succeed in it. So this image can be used in any navigator. It will work. See you.